Most of you who follow my channel have some type of motorbike or have some interest in a motorbike. Some of you have the Honda ADV 150 like myself, while others have a plethora of motorbikes. Lucky. Now although I don't have to replace my tires for a long time, I only have like maybe 1500 miles on my bike or less, I want to know when I do have to replace my tires what the best rubber on the market is. That's what she said. <laughs> For the Honda ADV 150 owners, here's the scoop on the tires. From the factory, the brand is IRC Tire from Japan. They've been producing tires since 1926. Tire model is the GP212. Now the ADV 150 has two different size tires. The front is 110 by 80, 14 inch, and the rear is 130 over 70, 13 inch. But this is important. You can also fit tire sizes as front 120 over 70, 14 inch, and rear 140 over 60, 13 inch. Now why is this important? Well, if you searched any time like I have, you'll find that stock tire sizes are hard to get on this model. So those are the alternate sizes you can find, and it's a lot easier to find them on the market. So what does those tire sizes mean anyway? The first number is the width of the tire in millimeters. Second number is the height to width aspect ratio. And the third number is the diameter of the rim in inches. And many of the other numbers you see on that diagram is more for passenger cars and larger tires. So to make this job a lot easier, let me show you some of the tools I have for this job. Of course, you don't need one of these, but this is a tool that makes life so much easier. When I bought this little pancake air compressor, it was the best thing I ever did. I use it for my car tires, bicycle, of course my Honda. I use it for everything. And it even has a, um, like a little blow thing to it, like if you want to use it as an air compressor where you blow out like computers and things. So it has all these different attachments you can buy and the quick release is nice. It has an adjustable pressure for the tank and the output. I set it about 150. <laughs> And then after 150 it goes off of course and then I can just and, and this is cool too this little pressure gauge I bought this off Amazon any of this is in the truck store if you need it but this is really nice because it it swivels and it's got a nice solid feel to it. it's a very well made Jayco makes a great product and it actually has a rubber so it's non-slip and if you're having fun it glows in the dark if you ever decide to check your tires at night you know on the road or something Going back to the front tire, 29 PSI for the front, okay? And this is nice to check it because it's a quick push of a button to reset it. And the rear cost 33 PSI, even with the pillion. So 29 in the front, 33 in the back, even with a rider, and there you go. Honestly, I don't have any issues with the stock tires, although I don't really have anything to compare them with. From reading all the comments online, whether it's on Amazon, the manufacturer's website, forums, people do notice a big improvement when they put alternate tires on their bikes. Most tires should last anywhere from maybe eight to 10,000 miles. So when shopping for tires, what do we look for? Price, quality, performance, and visual appeal. What is the most important thing when I ride a motorcycle or a motorbike or a scooter or a tricycle, whatever you want to call it? Um, the most important thing is tires and helmet, right? So then I had to restructure my thinking when it comes to tires. I'm like, look, I'm not going to focus on price so much. I don't really care what the tires cost. What my main focus on is what's going to keep me safe more than anything. So with price not really being a significant factor, what did I look for most? Brand reputation and quality and performance. So when I looked at the different models out there, I wanted to find the tire that pretty much suited my needs for my riding style. Now look, I just ride mainly, I don't go off-roading. I don't use my bike for commuting, which means I never ride in the rain unless I get caught in it. So I wanted a tire and it's going to change for everybody's different. So your tire selection 
may differ from mine depending on how you ride your bike, right? Let's go over the first one that I decided on. The first one, many of you can probably guess, the Michelin City Grip 2 were a top choice. Look, these are hard to beat and pretty much the most popular tire on the market when it comes to these type of bikes. When you read the reviews around the internet, you'll learn right away how good these tires are. The common remarks for the Michelin City Grip 2 are awesome tires, run smooth and grips better, great feel on the road, grip is insane, perfect steering, nothing comes close to the stickiness, better traction and support in the corners. This tire made night and day difference in ride comfort and stability. So apparently ride comfort and grip are really big for the Michelin City Grips too. Let's look at another tire called the Schenko SR 567-568. For nearly 60 years, Shinko has been manufacturing tires in Osaka, Japan. They began producing bicycle tires and tubes and currently produce over 200,000 motorcycle tires per month. Shinko tires are imported into the U.S. by Western Power Sports Incorporated and are headquartered in Boise, Idaho with warehouses around the country. Tina, eat! Eat the food! Here are some comments for the Shinko tires. Drove better than Pirelli. Replace Pirelli with Schenko and ride much better now. Great tires. Real gripping. Excellent enhanced handling and wet condition handling. I like corners and so do these tires. Very little wear after a year. Now, although price shouldn't be a determining factor, you'll be happy to know that Schenko tires are one of the most budget friendly tires you can buy. Let's look at one more, the Pirelli Angel Scooter. You can't mention the word tire without Pirelli entering the conversation. Founded in Milan, Italy, Pirelli is a well-known global brand that employs over 30,000 people worldwide. With 18 factories in 12 countries, they know a thing about tires. With the reputation of a global leader, Pirelli tires are proven as a solid tire solution. However, that comes with the price. Pirelli tires are some of the most expensive tires on the market. But as I stated before, price alone is not my determining factor when selecting tires. So Pirelli is definitely one of those tires on my list. Let's hear some Pirelli comments. Great tires, very good grips. Push tires around corners in rain and has not given out. Good grip in corners and the wet. No vibration, noises, or anything. Look good and seem to stick well. The comments for these tires are from consumers that have the smaller motorbikes like we do. There's a lot of choices on the market when it comes to tires, but I chose these three because after my research, I like these three brands the best. I haven't really decided on yet what I'm going to get, but I think I have a good idea. So what do you think? What are the best tires that you think you'll put on your bike? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, be safe out there.